you all here too on the radio this morning talking yeah. about this election. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> well, thank you. I'm Peg Willingham, and like many of you in this room, I didn't think I'd be volunteering on another Arlington election, especially on a holiday weekend. But the Speaker of the House had other ideas for us. And I know we're not happy about that, but what I am happy about is that I'll be volunteering for my friend David Bowling. And you all may know David as uh, a fellow precinct captain here at ACDC, or from Leadership Arlington, or the Committee of 100, or as a Cherrydale neighbor, or a fellow parent at Taylor Elementary. Speaking of school-aged children, uh, David's family would have loved to have been here tonight, but the Speaker of the House of Delegates didn't give him a chance to come back from visiting family in Japan in time, so that wasn't possible. Um, the things that I like and respect about David include his service as a trust buster, as an attorney in the Department of Justice's Antitrust Division, standing up to corporate overreaching, which we've seen this week uh, and recent weeks we need more than ever. Uh, David also has worked to implement the Affordable Care Act when he was the Chief of Staff for a Democratic Congressman here in the Washington area. And he currently serves as a senior executive and a foundation for another great Democrat excuse me, another great Democrat, the Mansfield Foundation. I certainly hope you will vote for David, and if you want to meet, uh, get to know him after the debate on Saturday, we'll be having an event at the home of Mark Habib. So please join me in welcoming my friend, David Bowling.
for the House of Delegates. There are two reasons. And first, of course, is to represent your values and principles in Richmond, to stand with Governor McCauley, to fight for the expansion of Medicaid, which we know morally is compelling and the right thing to do, which we know economically makes sense, but the Republicans are just engaged in putting politics before people. And to fight with Attorney General Harry for all the equality that gays and lesbians deserve, to fight for marriage equality, and to fight against these medically unnecessary regulations that they're trying to put down on family planning clinics, to fight for the DREAM Act, and to fight to reduce the burden of student debt. But that is not the only reason I am running. And if you expect me to only do that, I would say you're not expecting enough. I want to go down there and I want to work to create another majority of Democrats. We need 51, as Rick was saying. But how do we do that? Northern Virginia, we've had some great candidates recently. We've gotten close, but we've got to get them over the finish line. Nathalie Murphy, Jennifer Boisco, Chief Carney. We have to get those across the, the, the finish line, but then we have to go out all over Virginia. We have to spread the field and find those good Democratic candidates, support them, and get them to run so we can get to the majority. We have to, we've been having to play defense too much. And I know we all want to play offense. We want to throw the touchdown pass so that we can win one for the Democrats. So I'm asking you for your vote on Sunday. Again, thank you for all of you who are going to be working at the polls and sacrificing your time for your families. Thank you.